I'm Sarah Percy and I'm an Associate Professor in International Relations in the School of Politics and International Studies. And I've been using WordCloud in my large introductory lecture for first year introduction to international relations and there's about 400 students in the class. I've been finding it really a good way to engage students. I do a lot of verbal Q&A in my classes to try and keep the learning active, but not every student, particularly at first year, is going to be comfortable answering a question in a lecture theatre which is that large with so many other students. So the idea is that this will actively engage everyone in the room when they have good things to say, even if they don't necessarily feel comfortable speaking it out loud. I tend to use it as either a warm-up tool to sort of get people into thinking about a concept or because my lectures are two hours long as something to break up the lecture to get people re-engaged if they're looking a bit bored and I plan that out in advance. I find it most useful when I'm using word cloud to define a concept. So what I'll often do is I'll ask them to say, for example, what do you think are the key components of a definition of terrorism? And that's the one I have up on the screen behind me. And they'll come up with their ideas, fear, attacking civilians, that sort of thing. And then we'll go through what I think or what the established definition of that concept is. And that will launch us into the lecture. The benefits of using WordCloud, I think, are primarily in active learning. So we know, as all academics do, that lots of studies show that sitting in a lecture doing nothing is a really bad way to learn. But it's sometimes hard to come up with strategies which are easy to implement that get people involved. And UQ WordCloud is very easy to use. And so it serves that function of getting people to think about the material and participate when it might not be practically possible to have so many students participate. I also find that it, it's a very good almost a game changer in a lecture as, as, a, as a position if you've been going on for a long time to re-engage students and I like to think of a few different ones of those to use during the course of a two-hour lecture. I also find that it's a really good way of making sure that people are using their devices for the right thing. I think we've all had the dispiriting experience of staring out at the sea of apples and looking at that and thinking, well, how many of them are checking Facebook and how many of them are actually engaging? But this makes sure that they're directing their device to something which is useful rather than just sitting there mindlessly taking notes, which I think is the other problem often when we have a whole bunch of laptops, people are just transcribing, they're not really thinking. So anything that you can use as a little tool to get people to think differently about the material works quite well. It also works reasonably well if you do a pair and share technique, which is obviously very difficult with 400 people, you can't have them feed back, but you can have them split into two friends discuss it and come back with an answer. And I've also done quite successfully splitting the lecture theater in half and having one think about one side of a debate and the other half think about the other side of the debate and then using two word cloud slides to come up. And that's good, it gets them to meet the other people around them, engage with each other a little bit more in the lecture theater. In terms of tips about how to use WordCloud, I think there are a few ones for getting started. One is it's actually very easy to use, so I didn't go to any formal training about WordCloud, although there, such things exist. If you read through the guide, you'll find that it's very easy to use. One of the best tips is to make sure everybody knows how to use it before you get started, to make sure the students have the right login details and they're all ready to go. So when you begin, they can immediately launch into WordCloud when you get to the right moment. Also to reduce stress, it's always a good idea to have it ready to go on the machine so you're not in the lecture theater trying to get that set up. But beyond the setup, I think a lot of people, when they find out I use WordCloud, ask me how I prevent the students from saying rude or naughty things in WordCloud. And I've done that in a couple of different ways. One is actually just jokingly telling the students that if they don't use it properly, then we won't be able to do it. The other is allowing a degree of joking around. So pretty much every question I ask in my class, I get the answer Trump, no matter what it is. And that allows us to you know, make a few jokes and, and we move on. But there are actually ways to go in and find out which student is saying what. And I think that can serve as a very useful reminder at the beginning of the lecture that if they're going to say something which is really stupid, then you're going to know who they are and they, they might therefore wish to keep their comments appropriate. But I actually have not had a significant problem at all with any bad student behavior. And that I think probably comes down to the fact that they enjoy using it and they they would rather be able to participate than not be able to participate.